can mean only one thing. The double tough individual from Union City, Tennessee, and he's coming home Friday night to the Mid-South Coliseum. I can't wait to see the Birdman in action. They're all love Coco Ware, except his opponents when they get that drop kick right in the face. I tell you what, when Coco B. Ware walks down that main street, Memphis, Tennessee, they hang from the rafters for him, don't they? They all know and love the Birdman. Look at him. Mr. Excitement, right there. Well, they say dynamite comes in small packages. I think that young man there is certainly a testimony to that fact. There's no doubt about it. He's as explosive as any individual in the rest of the sport today, Jim Ross, without a doubt. Here's some great music in the background. We'll hear more music a little bit later in the hour, a premiere video from the forthcoming album, Rebel Rock. The boys are back in town. Michael Hayes and the Bass Street Band. We'll have that later in this hour. And then who will be Cowboy Bill Watts' partner? We're going to find that out in this hour as well because the Cowboy. It's contagious. <laughs> it sure is, isn't it? A little of that blue-eyed soul there. That's it. With the Freebirds, I was missing Michael Hayes and Terry Gordy against Cowboy Bill Watts and a big question mark on my sheet. I cannot wait for that one, but we've got a great match up here. We've got a young man, Rick Steiner. What a powerfully built individual. Oh. As strong an upper body as any man in the sport today. And that hip toss right there, if you'll notice, Jim Ross, was done with less leverage and more strength. Most people set the hip in deeper. They use the leverage of the man's upper body to toss him over. He just used that massive shoulder and tricep strength and lifted him up and over. He's the, a young, young man from right outside Detroit, Michigan, went to school, University of Michigan. And the folks up in Lansing watching uh, Universal Wrestling Federation night, we want to welcome you aboard with us here this fine Friday night. One of the 100 plus stations on the UWF television network, we might add. You know, I don't know how you do it, Jim Ross, putting up with Michael Hayes all the time. He cries so much about this and that. I'll bet you his tea kettle doesn't whistle. I bet you it cries. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say, uh, Patience is a virtue, so maybe I'm developing some in my later years here. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that another time. Coco Ware, ladies and gentlemen, and Rick Steiner, two superbly conditioned athletes here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. Coco's got that that low center of gravity. That whoa! What a power slam! Right there is what I'm talking about. That low center of gravity. He was able to get up underneath the big man Steiner, use his momentum, use his weight to get him up and over. And that, not a press slam but a power slam, experience, agility, mobility, hostility, it's all right there, Jim Ross. I don't think that Steiner exhibited or saw any activity like he just witnessed and felt in the Big Ten tournament when he was wrestling for the blue and gold of old Michigan U. And I certainly don't mean any disrespect to that tremendous institution. What a football program Bo Schimbecker has assembled there, a powerhouse year in and year out. Well, just one look at what his athlete here tells you, what kind of men, he, young men he produces. Look at the size and the strength and the ability of Rick Steiner. That, that's a credit to the program right there. That's what we're talking about. You're talking about a 275-pound man that just leapfrogged. Ooh. Oh, flying body press. Coco Ware's got the leg. Great body and a near fall. I tell you what, Frank, if folks want to see action like this in their hometown, we can bring it to them, can't we? We sure can. You know, we got a special thanks to the folks at uh, Bogalusa. Had a real successful show down there. Congratulations to them. Talking about the folks down Oak Mogee and Warner and Porter, Oklahoma. We're coming all over the United States to all these nonprofit groups, these very same stars. All they got to do is give us the call. You know the number, Jim. I sure do. It's 918 366 And be sure that you have an adult call and call between... A, a 9 a.m. And, and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday only, please. That's correct. A little, a little bit of a cheap shot there. You know, I don't think he learned that there at the wrestling program, University of Michigan. That's something he's picked up since he joined the pro ranks. He'll find eventually that those cheap shots don't have their place. Steiner is so strong in the upper body, as Frank 
so aptly described earlier in this match. Now look at this. That was a that was a vicious power slam. It One, really two. I tell you, this is a great test for both these fine young athletes. Coco Ware obviously has the advantage on the experience because Steiner is just like into his maybe a second year, huh, Frank? Something like that. I think that's it. I think he just completed his first year and starting his second. He's got that awesome size, but he lacks that experience. Coco Ware has got it all, though. Now look at him. Oh, he's wound up, too, and the people are behind him, Jim. He's smoking, and I said last week he'd do some serious poking. That's what he was doing there. And Steiner, though, caught oh. him with a power slam. But Coco's all the way through. What oh. a maneuver. Oklahoma Hayride out of the power slam. One, two, three, Jim Ross. You haven't seen that in years. Unbelievable. The Birdman, Coco Ware, flying home to Memphis Friday night. And we'll be back with the Freebirds via premiere video when we return from this timeout. Nine one eight three six six eight. Africa. Africa. Uh... -oh. 